Hi, I'm CBS News correspondent Cheryl Atkinson. The CBS Evening News is devoting a lot of coverage to what happens to the soldiers when they get home from the battlefield in Iraq or Afghanistan. And we have the story tonight of Staff Sergeant Sean Knudsen, who is doing an incredible fight to try to get an award. He was promised on the battlefield, but then later denied. Uh, this is Scott from our Affiliate Services News Path, who's going to make sure the story is fed out to all the affiliates later today. What's the brief description of your job? We take care of all the affiliates uh, in terms of covering Washington. We make sure they have what they need to cover the nation's capital, no matter where they are. All right, great. Thanks, Scott. The uh, Purple Heart Award, as most viewers probably know, is given to soldiers who are injured in combat, even if it's friendly fire. And it's given for wounds that are anything from something they can recover from to things like lost limbs or even death. But for some reason, in some cases, these awards are approved on the battlefield but then denied the soldiers on up the line. Uh, trying to find out how many of this has happened to and why is proven pretty impossible because the Pentagon tells us it does not track those figures. But we're on to the case of Sergeant Knudsen as he tries to get the award that he believes is rightfully his. This is Winnie, our editor, who's making sure our story is being fed up to New York for the evening news. And if you can see in this monitor, this is Sergeant Knudsen when he was in combat in Iraq. This is him as he appeared in Washington when I interviewed him for the story that you're going to see tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. We hope you'll join us.